guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer After The Campaign video. If you guys have ever seen these videos before, you'll know what we do here is we take about four to seven games and then we critique them based on their quality after the campaign. Most of these, if not all of them, have been games I have reviewed previously when they first started on Kickstarter, so a lot of the games I got were prototypes. And then afterwards, now they've been sent to me as a gift to show you guys what they look like afterwards and of course to play. And all of these games I have played multiple times times. The games we have to show you are Mutants by Lucky Duck Games, the road to, or the island to El Dorado, Era of Kingdoms, this over here is Paradise Lost by Greenfeet Games, Bar Gardens of Babylon uh, by Cackleberry Games, and then Ca Cutthroat Caverns, this one's by Smirk and Dagger. The only one that's technically not supposed to be on this list is Cutthroat Caverns, but it's a favorite game of mine, and this is the anniversary game from the collection, so I want to show you what this one looks like comparatively to the base game. Nevertheless, are you guys ready to get into it? We're going to talk about all these games one at a time. I've got my top-down camera to show you what it looks like on the inside of the boxes. Some of these guys have already done a little unboxing video. If you want to see everything in the boxes, you can do ahead, go ahead and watch those on my playlist for unboxings. But other Otherwise, you get a good idea of all of the games and the critiques. So let's talk about Paradise Lost first. This is the first game I want to talk about. This is by uh, Green Feet Games here, and Paradise Lost is a game that is similar to Clue in a lot of ways, and it is basically a game where you're going to be using a rondelle. You're going to be moving around a board, attempting to gather clues, insight, uh, to find out the fairy tale creature that is basically plaguing the lands, as well as what the item is, where the location is, and you're moving around. This game has and a huge board here. So it comes with this nice rule book here. It's gonna come with this huge board, which is double-sided. And my first, I guess, semi, very, very minor critique with this is I don't really know what the point is of the board being double-sided because as you can see, there is one side of the board here, which is rather large. I mean, it fits over this entire table. I couldn't even play it on this table if I wanted to. And then if you turn it over, it has the same exact board on the other side, or at least as far as we could tell, it was the same exact board. Nevertheless, the artwork is amazing. The quality of the board is great. Uh, it is a huge game, but it is very easy to learn if you have any insight on how to play the game Clue. You're going to understand how to play the game Paradise Lost. The quality of the cardboard, the quality of the printing is all very nice. And the way it folds up is nice as well. Really, really high quality. I really like this game board. It's one of my favorites just because of how big and grandiose it is. Uh, additionally here, you're gonna have the inside of the box, which is gonna come with a bunch of these things here. This one is going to hold the cards in that is going to be the secret reveal at the end of the game. There is this little thing here where it flips and folds, but I can't actually get it to fold so that it stays locked. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm afraid to bend it. Maybe I'm just being too nervous about that. But that's one little thing. The cards in the game are rather nice quality. It has all the different weapons and the different uh, characters that you can go ahead and visualize. You're gonna have these different characters here, which is gonna be what you're gonna do. They all have their own unique player asymmetric abilities. There are these nice, these nice triangles that will be placed in the board as well, which will give you the location bunch of cubes, this really beautiful die that's also cut. It looks gorgeous. I, I really like this die. I think it's done very, very well. All the tokens are very nice. It gives you pencils. It gives you this nice piece of paper, which you can write everything down. And of course, it gives you a nice stack of cards. And what's new about this compared to the prototype is you're going to have miniatures. And the miniatures are excellent quality. They also have these little bases, which represent the color for each of your characters, which is nice as well. And I think in the Kickstarter expansion, if you went and picked that up, or the del deluxe exclusives, it gives you even more characters. And there's room in this box for everything. Hard to figure out where the characters go inside the box. Yet again, another very small critique. Uh, there's not a lot to say about this game as far as poor quality in production because it's just done so well, and I'm very, very impressed with it. It all fits very nicely in the box, very easy to fit, and if you want to see everything, you can go ahead and watch our video where we unbox the mm -hmm. game. Box fart. Paradise Lost by Green Feet Games. Beautiful, beautiful. I guess my other little critique on it is on the back, it does not show you what the components are in the game, which I think would be very, very useful. It does give you a nice amount of story, tells you all the components, but I'd like to see an image of all the components in the game on this box here. Uh, that would be probably my main little critique about this game, but otherwise, it is an excellent little game, and I really, really enjoyed this one. Next game is going to be Era of Kingdoms. This one here is a tableau management game, another game that we did an unboxing for, so if you want to see everything, you can go ahead and do that, but we'll just go ahead and talk about it. This has a nice thick rulebook, which explains everything, including the expansions that come in the game, and there are expansions. In fact, this little board here is one of those expansions. 
this is the board and it's going to come with the ability to draft in the game which is very very nice i really like the way they did the board the stylization the artwork is all great quality the player boards themselves where you're going to be placing your cards down onto these little tableau boards here very well well made uh all of the different colors are easy to see the difference between except for maybe these two a little darker shade of blue and a in a lighter shade of blue backs present as well with the colors nice all the cards here all fit in there's basic cards intermediate cards and advanced cards those also are done very well it's easy to tell the difference between them and of course on the back sides very similar to the prototypes but everything is just a little better quality or a lot better quality really really well done this game is an excellent little game as well we played this with jackie from show me how to win we really enjoyed this one i think i probably enjoyed it a little more ah but it is a really nice game everything fits in very well and of course on the back of the box it shows you all the cards it shows you the boards it explains how to play it gives you a nice idea of the rules it gives you a nice idea of the story in the game how many players all that good stuff is shown in the back of this box and i do like that it's maybe a preference for me but i think it's specifically useful especially when it comes down to if you want to ever sell this game in stores this one does a very good job of that next game up on the tabletop is called mutants mutants is by lucky duck games these guys have and i, I gotta got actually show in the back because I am on the back of here so there might be some bias as far as as that goes because you know whenever you get something nice done for you on a box it's likely that there may be bias so just to give you that heads up but nevertheless very shiny cover very pretty game this game is I would say probably for a younger audience but it plays as though it's a thick gamer style game it is a deck management sort of game uh, where you're actually going to be doing drafting I actually have the original cards from the base game or the, the prototype game in here and from the box which i just went ahead and set aside as well as to show you the difference in quality the basically very very similar as far as the old versions go compared to the new version and then of course these are the new cards in the box let's go ahead and open one of these really quick we'll get a good idea of quality oh nice it opens very nicely i love it when the cards the little plastic have the ability to open up really nicely. This is a really nice quality card, but I think these are also really nice. Very, very similar as far as the base game, uh, the prototype game goes. All the artwork is rather nice as well. Really easy to distinguish. I haven't opened all of these yet, so I haven't played this one obviously in its new form, but I have played it multiple times from the prototype. It's got the player boards as well, which also have a shine to them. Nice quality, thick, works pretty well these are your main player boards they are they are more of a piece of paper but they never move so also not a big deal but that's what it comes with and uh you also have the rule book for the game and i believe it's in two different languages or maybe actually one of them's from the prototype and one of them's not yes yes it is so actually i have i have all the game in here okay that's cool and so very similar quality to the prototype the box is a little higher quality has some new additional boards that will be used for i'm guessing uh you know like uh, additional content any of this like you know how it comes with like oh the deluxe version comes with this and that and this and that it's probably very similar to that but nevertheless for the game for what it is it's nice quality all the stuff works really well and i think they did a pretty good job with this one there's a lot less game in here i guess comparatively to what you would imagine would come in a big box like this which would be maybe a critique but i also did remove the insert when i took this from pax so that being said there could be more game that will eventually come out where you'll be putting them in this box which is nice to have a box that's bigger that's a deck builder so you can put more content in it that's mutants it's got some really cool artwork and let's move on so let's talk about the island of el dorado this game when it came out it was like a critically acclaimed like artwork was really un unique and interesting it was copyright the copyright for a lot of this artwork opened up from what I, I know of on the story of how they had acquired it and so they placed it onto a board game the island of El Dorado and people loved it and for good reason it is beautiful here's one of the pieces of artwork here I'll go ahead and show you down to the low as well very very nice it's they attached it very well this looks like the deluxe copy but I'm actually not sure and I think it is just the base game because there's a secondary game that you can purchase that puts it with this game so this one just comes with the basic version of the game there's the thieves and rogues expansion or something but I don't have that one and it tells you in the rule book I've also got this little insert here with these nice pieces uh, of tiles they have the like shimmer around them very 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 nice very high quality the player boards are also extremely high quality and they have front and back for different player powers there's a deck box which is nice as well which holds all the cards in it additional tiles and then of course for each of the players armies and whatnot you're going to have the different meeples which are also very nice quality i'll go ahead and pop one of these guys out here this is an unboxing one as well so we did an unboxing for this and as you can see, they're nice and thick, easy to place on the board. 
Uh, really cool. And finally, the ziggurats, these guys here, nice and big, really actually thick and heavy. And so you're not going to have to worry about this breaking anytime soon. But if you like the Island of Eldorado, if you've seen it, they did an excellent job for production quality. Even the dice are not just basic dice. So everything is not basic about this game. Adding the sequences and the shimmer or gleam to the tiles it was a nice little touch as well. And of course, the box with the insert was high quality and it's magnetized so it locks in very well. This game is uh, really nice. Back of the box, still no components. My one little critique as well. But it does give you the contents. It gives you the game overview and the number of players in the game. As well as, I think it's it's by Play Monster. I think that's the company called. But overall, a really, really beautiful game. And they made sure to make it look really, really nice. If this is going to sit in your shelf, people are going to be very impressed with just seeing it and want to play it. All right, two more games. One over here is called Gardens of Babylon. This is the deluxe edition of the game. If you look on the back, it's really, really nice, nicely done as well. It shows you all the components, all the qualities, gives you the contents and the basic understanding of how to play it. In this one here, you're basically constructing the Gardens of Babylon, creating this like tall tower, and you're trying to move yourself up on the tower, dropping down these seeds that form into flowers, and you're trying to score as many points as you can based on how many flowers you get in the garden by the time it's finished building. It is got, of course, like I said, the UV feel as well. Very shiny. It comes with all the different rule books for all the different languages. And then it comes with a ton of tiles to the game. Very, very nice. Really high quality. Of course, it comes with the game board itself, which is going to look like something like this with larger tiles, which you'll form to make the very basic aspect of the game. And then it also comes with these little tokens here uh, for the different players. There's a single player module. Then you have the ones for all the different players. We went and just stuck them all in just different bags so all the colors are not actually supposed to be in these. But the tokens are very nice quality. The artwork is very nice as well. If you've seen this game previously, they did a very high, very high, uh, very good justice to the game. The insert, it fits in very well. You fit everything in just perfectly. And make sure you do it right. Uh, and so everything fits just nicely. I don't know about how much additional content could fit in this game, but otherwise a really well done game. The box is very thick, very nice quality. Uh, overall, very, very impressed with this game. This came out a lot better than the original prototype we played, but for a lot of these games, I'd say almost all of these games, the prototypes were actually extremely well done, which is very nice, which is why I don't have a huge amount of critiques from the previous prototypes until now. They just went ahead and added some beauty to the game, made it look nicer, added some interesting things like the UV, thicker pieces, thicker cardboard, thicker tiles. So overall, very, very impressed with all of these games. These were all games previously put on Kickstarter where I had a chance to review them, and they came out all, all of them came out very, very nice. If I were to give them an order, I would assume that Paradise and El Dorado would be up at the very, very top, followed by Gardens and then Kingdoms, and finally Mutants. And not to say that it's poorly made, it's just that Mutants are going to get a player board, you're going to get a basic board, and then it's just a deck builder. So there's not as much quality components that are going to be needed. So long as the cards are nice, which they are, you'll be set. But if you're looking for a game that's got a ton of beautiful content, a ton of content just inside of the box, additional like gameplay and all that, that would probably be my order. Following up finally with the last one here by Smirk and Dagger. This is called Cutthroat Caverns by Kurt Covert. And this is one of my favorite games, actually. Uh, this game here is extremely mean. And I have the base game along with a lot of the expansions. This one just comes with the base game, but it is definitely different in a lot of ways. For instance, you're going to get these nice thick pieces of cardboard, which are very similar to the base game. Then you're going to get these nice huge boards in the game, which are going to have uh, basically an insert slot where you can place these little yellow tokens inside to show your health. They are double thick or triple, wow, these are like quadruple thick. They're very, very thick and play six different boards. They don't have the asymmetric player powers. They're all just basic characters because I have a lot of the expansion content. So uh, they just have the basic characters, but it also comes with additional cards. It's going to have the cards for the base game as well as the initiative and damage cards. And then of course the tokens you'll place down. Uh, one of these also, I believe, where are you? Ah, here it is, is the board for the bad guys. This is the bat board for the bad guys. It's going to have the encounter, how many encounters are playing depending on the number of players, and of course the health of each of the monsters, in which case it also has a little spot where you'll place the squares in to indicate the health and uh, damage tracker. All of these components have been upgraded from the basic game, so if you had the choice of buying either the collector's edition or the base game, 
this one would be the choice I would pick. And then of course, I would tell you to get all the rest of the stuff and put it into the big box expansion. I think most of all this will fit. I don't know exactly if these will or not, but I will actually go ahead and take a look and find out. And if I will, I'll put in the comment section. But overall, if you just wanted Cutthroat Caverns, this is definitely the one to get. Really high quality components, really nice. I'm glad they actually remastered this game, remade it and placed it back into the availability of the public. I don't know how hard it is to get Cutthroat Caverns, the original, but this one does the game a extreme amount of justice and everything fits in just perfectly. So there's not a lot of room for additional stuff, but that's okay if you just want to play the base game. Uh, overall, very, very satisfied with this game and I'm a big fan of it. Basically the way it plays is you're all fighting to defeat a monster. That monster has a certain amount of health and the only person who wins in the game is the person who does the last bit of damage. So if I do 100 damage and you do one and the boss has 101 health and you hit last, you get everything. So it has a really mean streak to it. This one apparently, from what I've been told, is even a little meaner than the base game, which I like. And of course, the fact that the components and quality are a lot nicer as well. I'm gonna imagine the back is gonna have all the components and whatnot, it does. This is a game that's been on, uh, been in the works for a while and Smirk and Dagger are not new to this. So they have a very good understanding of how to make a nice back, box back cover as well as front cover overall extremely high quality very well done really excited to jump into that one and play and see the differences between this one and the base game but like i said my recommendation would be if you just want the base game to go ahead and pick this one up if you want all of them i would suggest to see if this fits into the big box because the big box expansion has a lot of room for all the rest of the expansions in the game paradise lost this is era of kingdoms mutants el dorado gardens of babylon and cutthroat caverns after the campaign if you're interested in any of these i'll go ahead and leave links in the description below you can go ahead and take a look at them either on amazon Amazon or wherever and if you want to purchase them it will help us out here at Unfiltered Gamer. Regardless though I just want to do, the, I do these videos because I'm so happy and excited to see these games come out from where they first started out which is those little basic prototypes until now where the games are now very 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 nice and you can see the love and care and attention they put into making these games look really good and they did a very good job with this specific set of games some are not always the case but in this case i was happy to uh see all the component quality they included in the games i'm very much so looking forward to playing paradise lost checking out that as well as of course i haven't taken open un unbox mutants and then cutthroat caverns is one i'm always excited to look at thank you guys so much for watching this after the campaign video number whatever if you want to watch the rest of them go ahead and fall back into this uh, playlist and you can check out the other games we had reviewed and have seen now. If you're a game designer and you want to send us games, we will of course do our uh, review video and then after the campaign, as with it, supposing it funds, we will do one of these great little videos for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I look forward to uh, checking out your games after the campaign next time.